Why are you frightened, child? I'm disturbed by my visions, Gurudev. I see strange figures in white, in some strange place full of light. I see a man in some other place in a blood red coat. And I see a ring which shimmers in a blue light. to know the meaning of these visions, child, come what may. There was a ring, child, long ago. It was forged of eternal love. One ring made of two rings. To fit together, both halves had to be pure, like the first moment of love. After much toil, a match was finally created. The two halves combined and formed a single ring. It is said that once united, even if separated by an ocean or an age, they will always reunite. They are called the lovers. Okay, baby, you're quarter deck. Alpha grid north. Can you check grid alpha five beta? Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to get underneath this beam. There's really no way around it either. I think we're going to have to leave this one for next time. Sorry, sweetheart. Allie, take a look at this. No, Jay, pan back. Can we get any closer? Okay. I see it. I'm gonna send a little guy in there because I can't get in. It's a little tight. Can can I have high resolution? We're the first people to see this in 300 years. I had sailed from Bombay. I want to say it's Indian, but I can't put a date on it. The snake design. I think it's ancient. It could be part of a pair. Anyway, it was very important to somebody on our wreck. How so? We see kind of silver purse type thing. It has the initials D-E on it. Whoever D-E was drowned, claimed that purse. in yourself, Dulja. It will be thus. You will love with the full force of a woman's heart, and your love will be returned in full. But you will betray your love, and as you have foreseen, he will die. Gurudev? Am I such a person, Gurudev? What beats within your chest, Tulja? My heart, Gurudev. Where else in the universe is betrayal, Tulja? If not in the human heart? I will not betray. I swear not to do so, Gurudev. I will not betray. Your path is already chosen. Then I will not love. Where is she? Oh, God, help me. What the hell is she doing now, Alan? 
Laura? I can't move it, Jake. I can't move the beat. I'm coming down to get you, sweetheart. Just stay calm. I'm so sorry, Jake. How much don't you does she have left? Ten minutes! I'm sorry, Jay! Jay! Get a rim out! I'm reading out the Coast Guard! Matt, give me a line! Ali? Be honest, how much time have I got? Jay! One idiot is enough! Jay!
James. James. Brother. It's four o'clock. Sorry, I must have dozed off. Four o'clock. Aye. Desai. James, sir. Mirror court. Yes, sir. We'll be late for Governor Hornby. Ah, Hindu Stuart. Don't they teach you the purpose of clocks in Scotland? <laughs> God, I hate this place. It's too hot, it's too crowded, and it's too far from Smith. Massachusetts, Charlie. The farm. I know. For four more years of this. God. Money we need can't be saved in a day. James, the governor's meeting. You planning on speaking your mind? Why do you ask, Charlie? Well, I've only just got back from a month up country building roads, and I'd like to stay here for a bit. I thought it was too hot and too crowded. It is, but it's still better than being up country building roads. Gentlemen, His Excellency the Governor. Oh. Colonel Edgerton, gentlemen, sit. This summer of 1778 is our summer of opportunity. Ah, Hindu Stuart. Don't they teach you the purpose of clocks in Scotland? Governor. As I was saying, we English hold three colonies in India, but unfortunately on opposite coasts. We here in Bombay, Madras down there, and Calcutta here. Gentlemen, imagine if we could link them up. We could dominate the entire subcontinent to the exclusion of all other trading companies. And obtain personal riches beyond our most radical imaginings. Indeed, indeed. The most powerful obstacle to our ambitions are these kingdoms here, Bahadur and Purangad. The present king is our implacable opponent. However, an opportunity has arisen, an opportunity that will allow our shareholders in the East India Company to look at a map of this subcontinent and say, mine. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Stewart hardly seems welcoming to this opportunity. James? It is quite clear to me, sir, and to you, Governor, and to many others in this room, that building an empire in India is not the policy of His Majesty's government in London. A fine point. <laughs> London is a long way away, Captain Stewart. Getting a reply from them can take a year, as you know. Far better to present London with a fait accompli than wait passively for their approval. Far wiser to wait than to stir up a hornet's nest without the means to contain it, Colonel Edgerton. Gentlemen, the die is cast. In a month it will not serve us to debate, but seize the day and seize the place. Here, here. A little pigeon told me you can prophesy. Highness, I can't. Dulza, you are no longer just guarding a queen. You are also guarding a prince or a princess. Highness, please tell me, Dulza, what future do you see for my child? Highness, these visions, they just come to me. I cannot call them at will. Oh, come on, tell me something, no matter how small. 
Tell me, tell me, tell me. Highness, I can't. I really can't. Well, this is for you, my dear God. Please forgive my silliness. It's magic, so my grandmother said. Anyway, it's ancient and precious, even though it is flawed. And you know what they say? They say it brings lovers together and keeps them together. Do you like it? Tulsa, if you ever have the chance of love, grab it. And you will be richer than I will ever be. We are betrayed! The king's brother is a traitor, it's a coup! Go on the king! Go on the king! Gori! Gori, the queen in danger! Shut the doors! Protect the queen! Tamaji, the king's in danger! Get the guard! Everything that you need. Not everything. Not yet. Your Majesty. On your knees, you chakravos! You are in the presence of your Lord! You old buffoon. Have you lost your mind? <laughs> Shrimant, please, I beg you. Spare me. Sadly, Manaji. Life is brutal. I'm sorry. Salim. Be brave, okay? Be brave. Charlie? 
That's from Governor Hornby. Oh, why? Colonel Edgerton has seized the day. There's been a coup in Porangad. The king? Assassinated. We have to get that post test. On completion of this mission, you shall receive 1,000 gold sovereigns. <laughs> Massachusetts, here we come. Maybe. Yost! Have the men strike camp. Desert, we leave at once. Well, your father will be pleased that we have Captain Stewart to escort us to Pahad Hall. And does Captain Stewart know you're in love with him? Dolly, enough. Enough! It's too soon. Saji, I need to do this. Yes, but you haven't fully recovered yet, Turja. Please. We need a spy at the palace. You said so yourself. Let me come with you. Stay here and help your father, Utaji. That is your duty. And I must do mine. There's a word, and that word is shame. I can hear it in the rustle of every leaf. Can you live under the rule of a coward? Because we will all be cowards if we fail to avenge the murder of our king. Twenty years I served as chief minister to his father. I am Udhoji Kiladar. We'll destroy the Asap around you, I swear it! The palace is called the Raj Varga. Magnificent, isn't it? Is that where we're going to stay? Does the king have a harem? Don't think so, Dolly. Doubtless you'll ask him. So high anymore. You're wounded. No, Highness. I'm fine. They mean to kill me. They can't. No one can do anything to you. No one's going to hurt you. They mustn't know I'm pregnant. I swore to them I'm not. Go, go. It is usual to stand when a queen enters. When a queen enters, I will stand. I've brought peach oil. 
for your hair after we've washed it. Just like old times. Have you put weight on? I think so. My husband says we must take great care of you. He's a king now. And a king's disapproval is worse than a husband's disapproval. <laughs> My husband thinks he's a lion. But like most cats, if I stroke him the right way, he just falls over. He won't save you. Not for long. Your Majesty, my wife, once ex-Queen Chamnabai dead. You know what women are like. And I do see some merit in the idea. His Majesty, my king, wishes her alive. She is with the child. The rival heir to my throne is a cause for my enemies to fight for. With our king's support, you outnumber your enemies. If Queen Jamnabai dies, you forfeit that support. That is a matter for this. With respect, it is our king's strictest stipulation. I'm to escort the queen to Bombay forthwith. Palace gates will be left unlocked. You must leave within three hours. Good luck. Highness, did you hear? Bomb is far away. We have a chance of getting rescued before we reach there. Are you sure? Yes, Highness. I have a plan. If you will permit me to explain. This is damnable, sir! Did you advise the governor of this change of course? I did not, Colonel. The change of ruler here is in the company's best interest, Captain. Shit, sir, I took three years of planning. I am England's servant, Colonel, not the company's. As are you in the final analysis. Unless I am mistaken. Well, Captain, I charge you with the safety of my daughter and of her governess. If anything should befall them, I shall come for you. Hindu steward! I shall come for you. Go back! Go get safe! I can't see why we can't just take the carriage. Because your father needs a carriage here. But this is a box. This is not a box. This is a real carriage. We are struggling with this. I'm sorry. We must hurry. Thank you. Sir, this stinks worse than an oyster's fart. The knows it. Running around this scurvy place with a gaggle of females. We have our orders, Jost. And our duty. Aye. But duty never made a rotten order sweet, did it, Captain Stewart? Let's move out, Jost. Company form up! Mate ready to move!
We've been traveling all night and half a day. I'm seasick. We're not even on the sea. Why couldn't we have stayed in Bahadpur? Your father told us 20 times we'd have been made hostages. I'd rather be a hostage than throw up in this thing. Oh, golly. No, I really feel sick. I need some brandy. Yes, but we don't have any brandy. Yes, we do. I liberated it from Pop's bag before we left. It's bad for his gout anyway. Captain. It's all well, Highness. Sorry about the pace of our travel. You look worried, Captain. No, Highness. Really? I saw some men in the hills. Following us. Aye. Possibly Rauji's men. Possibly. Yeah. Large escort, Your Highness. I'm paying a large price. After her, slit her open, pull the baby out, and bring it to me. Stunning woman, Her Highness. Never see a face like that on Clyde Street. James, are we going to be in for a fight? I think they may try to ambush us at the bridge at Taraka. If we pass it by nightfall, we'll be safe. We'll be outnumbered ten to one if it comes to an ambush, won't we? Desperate times. Desperate measures. See how their dog sepoys deal with what you have in store, little man. Don't mention it to anyone. Let's move! Let's go! Come on! All in order, Yost? Aye. The ladies are sleeping, all of them. You'll be under my brother's command. Remember, quiet as a snake. We don't want them waking up. Go to it. Good luck, sir. Right, let's move! Salah! Salah! 
Come on. I'm never drinking brandy again. Good. Oh. Come. Oh. Oh. Dolly? Shut up! Shut up! James Hype is here. <laughs> Did it go well? Yes, sir. <laughs> James! Once you were asleep, we hid you in the hay carts, out of danger. You drugged us. Your Highness, take my word for it, you were better off asleep. Our attackers intended to kill you, not to rescue you. Then let us go. Your Highness, I've been charged with the duty of escorting you to Bombay. And I can guarantee you that you'll be safe as long as you're in my custody. And do you have enough men to honor such a guarantee? Yes, Your Highness. Without guides, you'll get lost. For the last four years, I've been surveying this country, Highness. We'll take back roads, but we won't get lost. I need some water. Made me throw up. No, Dolly, you took your own poison. Oh, this, this isn't mine. Clara likes a drink. Forgive me, ladies, but it was a very mild opiate, and I needed total silence. <sighs> Men. I'm sorry. You don't need to apologize, James. Actually, I greatly admire your imagination. Thank you, Miss Coltstrom. <laughs> Stop it. Hey, here's a dowry. Use it to find a husband. That is less stubborn. I know where they are. Mount up! South! Towards Dar! Royal palace been burnt, but you saw no bodies. No, father. It's vital that our people know the queen is alive. They'll fight loyally for her and her child. Without her, we cannot succeed. Stuart is cunning. Udaji, if the queen is alive, find her, and for all our sakes, make it swift. I doubt you'll be the only one looking. Cut us off. Well? We'll scuff her on the back of him. We'll take the dragon's throat. Okay, Cello! Dragon's throat? We'll have to abandon the animal. That's the idea, Charlie. This I. What is the dragon's throat? No one is looking. Your Highness, can you run? Yes, for my child, I'll fly. Go. I think we're supposed to be going up the waterfall. Ladies. Is she 
she all right? Yes, she hurt her ankle on a rock. But for the most part, she's fine. They're both fine. Both? Yes, if I'm not mistaken, the girl is with child. But if we keep up this pace, she could lose the baby. You have really shot us, Cap. I. I really would have. My servant's not too well. I must go. The Queen should rest for a while, don't you think? It's all right. I won't reveal who she is. Your Highness. You know who I am. Did you call me Highness? I know who you're not. Not who you are. Someone once told me that the god Lord Krishna married three princesses and they lived in a palace made of silver. One day, Krishna fell incurably ill. A doctor was called and he told the god the only cure for his illness was dust from the foot of a generous woman. But you see, the princesses, they had no dust on their feet. So they could not cure Krishna, no matter how much they wished to. The doctor did find dust, however, on the foot of a poor shepherd girl. And that dust, to the fury of the princesses, cured Lord Krishna of his illness. Who are you? Why don't you ask Lord Krishna? You seem to believe he has all the answers. Not using the roads. The English man is a fox, but I know how he thinks. Salim, will you extra men? Send for Bhavan at the Rajwara. Go! Well, brother. Off the map. That ruined fort down by the river. You can rest there for the night. James? Get out, get out! We've been doing this for a week. Are we going to be all right? Well, don't worry, they won't find us. Even we don't know where we are. Get out, get out! Do some water. Don't you, bud? It seems you know a lot about my country. I build roads. When you build the road across the country, you soon see its soul. Yes, I like what you see. Aye. I, I like what I see. I've grown to 
like it very much. The English are my enemy. I'm not so fond of them myself. I'm from Scotland. My grandfather supported the Scottish king. When the English won, my family lost everything. This is our way out. When we saved enough, my brother and I planned to buy a farm in America. America? Massachusetts. We'll leave when we're discharged. Why won't you tell me your name? It's not the custom of my country for a woman to give her name to a stranger. Especially an English stranger. Yes. Especially an English stranger. Perhaps you should hand us over to our pursuers. This would be to your advantage. would not. Is this the custom of your country? I cannot blame my actions on Scotland. What is your name? Full as the Nike. Full as the Nike. Dummies here and here. That you lure them into the courtyard here. James, is it not cold hearted to continue on this escapade with such a pregnant girl? Or do you not care about such things? I do, as it happens. I'm sorry. <laughs> but if we cannot hold them, I assume they are not the kind of people who take prison. Clara. If you and Dolly to defend us, I do not think it will come to that. Yes.
I'll wait for you down by the river. All right. Levan, let's find those boats. Come on. You are free, Your Highness, to go back to your people. What will they do, Captain? Your English, when they find out? They'll cashier me, or uh, court-martial me, or hang me. Perhaps all three. Why, Captain? They don't take too kindly to disobeying orders. No. Why are you letting us go? Her child will die if I don't. Come with us, Mr. Bakra. I'll be honored. I can't. I'm not a traitor. May Pavati bless you with good luck. Always. Is he all right? I think so. You said that they would hang you if you don't take back a princess. 
Now you will. But when they discover... They don't even know what the Queen looks like. No. That's too dangerous. By the time they realize, I will have escaped. It's not that easy. However polite they seem, they'll put you under guard. This is my country. Where you foreigners see a crack in the rock, I see it all. When I'm gone, no blame will attach to you. waiting for you in Massachusetts. It's an odd thing. But whenever I imagine happiness with another person, I have this premonition that I won't be allowed it. How sad that is, Captain. So Tulsa Mike has gone with the British? To distract my pursuers, so they would still believe I'm in their hands. She did an honorable thing. Sleep now. Tulsa Mike. Rest. Rest for the sake of the new soul you carry. Hmm? Allow me to attack the boat, Father. <laughs> Udaji, there are two things about the British that really wake my insecurities. First is their artillery, and second is the uncanny ability some British have to touch the hearts of our people. Father, I can do this. Let this Captain Stewart make landfall. Then Tulza Naik is to be taken from their hands and taught here. has been taken from the British by Kiledar. He has raised an army. It is going to destroy us. Why are you doing this? My enemies now have their queen. And the British have abandoned me. You said we could trust the British. Where are the soldiers they promised us? Huh? They move us around like pieces on a chessboard. Who knows what their next move would be. So you abandon your throne like a coward. You are free to come with us. If you can find yourself a horse. And what? Live the rest of my life scurrying around like a rat. Look at us. A rat and a viper. <laughs> my lord! Stay here, woman, with your animal. When hunger strikes, you'll soon know which of you is the stronger. with Raji and his cowardice has left us mightily exposed. Don't you think, Colonel? On the contrary, Governor, I believe his predicament gives us a greater opportunity. Which we shall leap to take advantage of. Petion. I propose we invade Pure and Guard forthwith Restore Rauji to the throne under certain new conditions, which I have negotiated. Gold, bullion bars, 
and koi, 500,000 ounces per year for five years, payable to the company. Calculate your bonuses, gentlemen. Yum, yum. <laughs> yes, and with the ex-queen still our guest, we still have in reserve a bargaining chip we can use on either side. Whichever way it goes. But London, gentlemen, His Majesty's government will strenuously object to all this. I think the vast sum of money involved will mollify their scruples. Indeed. And while it may be argued that the Colonel Edgerton has stirred up a hornet's nest, oh. we can now, this time, rightfully plead self-defense. War is it then? War! War! We are officially at war. I have to leave tomorrow. We must address the issue of your escape. Is everything all right? My heart died. I cannot. You cannot. My heart is closed, James. I'm taken aback. I... Please forgive me if I have misread your heart. I must organize your escape. It's not necessary. You told me 
that a Maharatha does not like to be outdone in paying a debt of honor. Neither does a Scot. Tools on Haik. Tongue of Tongue all day long and life much help. Change in 20 minutes. Go, go. Raoji has come from Kalyan. Dash it. It's not one pissing little pest, it's another. Escaped! Escaped! The door was locked. I had the key. Decide. This treachery, damn it! Not the fucking road trick. Call out the guard. Find her. Ah, Stuart, something fishy going on. But I'll sniff it out. Real queen go, you say? Damn him. Stuart knew all the time. Martin, 
Don't you think he's damnable? Don't you think he should be cashiered? No, it's of no matter now. It matters to me, dear. I'll wager he saw it as a humane act. An empire is not made on humane acts, sir. Damn. Damn him. You'll have to get used to it, Edgerton. I fear Captain Stewart is the voice of the future. Not mine. He's a threat to all the company stands to gain. All England stands to gain. There is the Roman solution. What? In battle, how many men ever make it back from leading the advance guard? No one, from His Majesty's point of view, is fitter to lead the advance guard than Stuart. And no one, from your point of view, is fitter to not come back. Voila. Clara! Clara! How could you do it? How could you? You love him! You love James! He was dropping again. I heard everything. I know what you've done. And have you enjoyed being enlightened? You're a snake. How dare you? You who have money and youth. I have nothing. Now I have something and it's nothing to be proud of, but I will settle for it. What about all those things you said to me about loving and counting ourselves lucky? Doesn't that mean anything? Love has many faces and one of them is jealousy. And you, you keep telling me to act, and I have. And there's something I've always wanted to do. I am not your servant. <laughs> that is the end of lessons for today. And don't think that you can get rid of me because I am coming to America with you and your father. It's all agreed. When we set off, I will be your governess, and by the time we arrive, your stepmother. <laughs> Now the British declare war on us. Shall we allow them to do to us what they did to out to Bengal, to Madras? No! Let us end their ambitions. Let us send them home back to their little island. They shall not rule us! May the gods bless our queen. Let them hear. Bounce your shouts off the clouds! Tell me about this Captain Stewart. He's a leader of men. He inspires love in our people. Some people say so, Father. Then it will benefit us to arrange his death. Copy her writing and her signature. Then the steward is a good man. I take no delight in doing this. But my father fought the British and he said it's easier to wrestle the python after you have chopped its head off. Let's bait the trap. My father's given me a duty to harass the English advance. Daji, I've done a terrible thing. I didn't tell the Englishman of the prophecy. Some of what the old man said has come to pass. I know. I'm sorry. They're going to try. 
try and use me to harm him. And he won't be forewarned. So what will you do? Refuse. You will betray your own people? No. Can't you see? I'm bad luck. Sometimes you have to see beyond ourselves, Sulaja. We all make sacrifices. I once told you life was simple. I was wrong. May the goddess hold you to her. Tiny particles of energy. Now, when two particles meet, one will spin clockwise and the other will spin counterclockwise. And if you separate those two particles to the opposite ends of the universe, to the opposite ends of time, and then alter the spin of one, the spin of the other will also alter instantaneously. Communication across space and time. You ready? Let's go. Sit on the road at 350 yards at 10 degrees. No sign of the enemy. He'll be out there somewhere. James, Saib. What if the enemy finds us? Hartley and Edgerton will join us by nightfall. We'll be safe.
It's not the destiny of such a ring to remain separated from its twin, Ishtur. So it is said. Let's hope so, Desai. move to support Stuart's advance guard tomorrow tomorrow so we can't leave Stuart exposed till then and I say you will wait till the rest of the army gets here tomorrow James Sahib, please don't leave the camp. I arranged her escape, Ishtur. It was necessary. I have wanted to tell you. Krishna knows. I don't love you any the less. We do what we must.
and the ring? It was just a ring. So it may seem. But it is a messenger. And what is its message? Love, Kurde. Ah, so. Do you love? It's too late. It's too late, Kurde. How does time flow, Tulja? Time flows like one. Like water in a pool. As you said. I think I 
something good. I'm sorry, ever sorry, did you? No. No, of course not. universe woven. A hard pattern, you may say, this path of love. But how, child, could it be otherwise? <laughs>